key to your success, regardless of what you do, is your own self-awareness. So I want you to start to notice what you notice about yourself. So I want you to notice, if I've said something already that's pushed a button on you, notice that. Go, hmm, that's interesting, why? So notice what you notice. So again, if I say jot this down and you don't want to, still jot it down. And just notice you didn't want to, okay? First part here, this is my agenda. Write down the question, how am I doing? Write that down. Don't answer the question, just write down the question, how am I doing? Make sure you put the word considering. How am I doing considering? Right? And the considering is everything you are piling on your plates right now. I don't mean what you just have for dinner. I mean the proverbial plate of your life. All the stuff you're piling on your plates. So, what is the most common answer to the how are you doing question? How do we normally respond? Fine. Fine, fine, fine. And a few of us say great. But most of us say fine. And you don't want to know why we go to fine? Because fine ends the conversation there. It's just the polite thing to ask, and we just say fine, and we all go on. The second most common answer to the how are you doing question these days is, huh, busy, 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 holy crap, I'm busy. <laughs> we are busy. And the truth is this, culturally, and I mean us in this room, culturally, we have bought into busy. Think about this. When you were a kid and you wanted to go somewhere, how'd you get there? Walked, biked, or bus, right? Walked, biked, that's what we did. My, you know, my dad did not even know where my schools were. Seriously, was never at them. But here's the thing, here's why we culturally have bought into busy. Because when we're busy, whew, boy, we get good feedback. Wow, look at all the stuff you're doing, right? Working full time, small, small business on the side. You're renovating your house, building a new house. Going to school half time, this time, right? We're just piling on, you're coaching this team, involved with your communities, working in your churches. That's what we do. Busy, 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 busy. So what's it feeding? What's it feeding? All this feedback. Our egos. So when we're, and you're getting great feedback, it feeds our egos. We feel good because we're busy. But the second reason why we love being busy is that when we're busy, being busy is a great out. Do you know that it's much easier for most of us to get out of stuff because we're so busy than it is for most of us to say no in the first place? So I'm gonna talk about how busy our lives are. The second part of the equation is, are you on the deferred life plan? And again, most of us culturally are on the deferred life plan. We are, would you not say? We keep putting off and putting off and putting off, doing the stuff you really wanna do until something more or better comes along. True, we do. So also write down this question, write down, what's my energy like? What's my energy like? What's my energy like? And when was the last time you had one of those great days where things got done, good meetings, things that you went down the checklist of whatever's going on for you and you go, wow, that was a really great day. And on the drive home from that good productive day, you still had honest, pure, residual energy that wasn't caffeinated or adrenaline driven. I know, because I'm going to give you some tips on energy because you need energy for what I consider is the most important question you're going to ask yourself tonight, which is this question. When was the last time you did something for the first time? That's on your card, so you don't have to write that down. When was the last time you did something for the first time? But here's the question I do want you to jot down. The most important question you will answer right now for yourself. Write this down. How old? Write down. How old? are my stories. <laughs> How old are my stories? And you know which stories I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah, the stories we keep rehashing with our good friends, our good buds, whenever we get together, right? Remember? Summer 88? <laughs> that was a good one. Now let me look in this room. There's a couple of summer 78s in here. I don't know if there's any 68s. A couple of 98s. Like seriously, okay, let me just see if I show hands. Who in this room is in their 20s? Who's in their 20s? There's gotta be a few of you in your 20s, right? <laughs> well, for those of you in your 20s, here's the best advice the rest of us could ever give you if you're in your 20s. 
create some really good stories right now. <laughs> because you're going to be rehashing them for the next 50 years. <laughs> so make them good, right? Whoever said the best stories of our lives had to happen in our 20s? But we keep rehashing those ones, right? If your stories are older than a year, it is time to create some new stories. So when we walk out of this beautiful hotel tonight, seriously, when we're walking down here, if you're going out the front door, if there's a limo sitting outside the front door and the people inside that limo look pretty good, get in. <laughs> because it could be a good story. I mean, you might end up downtown New York. Who knows, right? It's a story.